Oh, you okay, honey? Yeah. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, we're Blixen Bess, and after two weeks in Colorado, we have decided to chase the warmth and continue down south towards New Mexico. We truly loved our time in Colorado, and we even got to see the famous Red Rocks Amphitheater with our friends Esther and Chase before we finally hit the road. We are so excited about the adventures that await us in New Mexico, and we're so happy you're joining us. Welcome and enjoy as we do van life in New Mexico. So we are in Golden, Colorado. I have some bedhead happening right now. And we are finally leaving Colorado. That's kind of sad. Why you kind of interrupted me? Oh, sorry, <laughs> so it is kind of sad that we're leaving Colorado. I really feel like connected to this place, but um, it's time for something different. And we are headed to New Mexico. The boys had their morning walk morning breakfast and morning water session. So we are doing good as a family so far. Um, and I need some coffee, I need some bathroom action, I need some brush teeth action, I need some hair action, I need a few actions before we actually hit the road. And Bess, what do you need before we go? I just need a break. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I, I Do you want to rest back here? No. Bess was up really late last night editing our video. It wasn't even that. Actually, I got the video done by like 1, so 1 a.m. That's still late, honey. No, it's not late for me, but I, I couldn't fall asleep for the first time ever in my life. That's not true. The first time ever in your life, hun. Well, anyway. Anyways, so we are having quite a day today. <laughs> a travel day really grateful our COVID test came back negative and we're gonna have to find a spot in New Mexico to get tested as well but so far things are going well and um, we will see you on the road most likely right yeah see you soon Bye. all right honey cheers to a great day cheers <laughs> to a wonderful day of driving and traveling and exploring Deccan's ear. Deccan's ear wishes you. Deccan's got some CBD in his system, so he's doing great. Yeah, it's Good been boy. helping him in a really a subtle way, I think. Um, baby gets one just so he can feel part of. <laughs> well, he definitely needs to chill out. Too. Um, but yeah, we are on our way to New Mexico now, and we're so excited to just hit the road again. It is definitely nothing like just driving. So we'll see you on the road. Driving at the entrance looks like it's all very COVID. You have to buy it. The, babe, if you if you take a picture of that of the of the code, we can just go straight to it. Yeah. Do you see what it says? Scan me, honey. Like that? Yeah. Oh. See. And then and then uh, and then open. Oh, click that link. I've never done that. Before. Noob. Here. 
So we just parked and we're gonna be walking into the dunes. Ooh, baby's doing his business. All right. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Awesome and as great and grand as they say, whoever they is, say it is. And Baby and Deccan are having the time of their life. They're just running back and forth. here. My feet are freezing. Load. Come on, second load. Thank you. Can you some water? Hey, baby. Hey. Well, that was really fun and cold. <laughs> I'm glad we did stop to see it, though, because it is pretty awesome. I think it'd be nicer to be here in just like a little warmer weather, or I should have maybe just worn like socks and shoes, <laughs> but I wore you sandals. Really, um, hurry, the sun setting. Yeah, the sun's setting. So we're gonna try to find a little cute little spot to take a few photos of Peach with the with with the dunes, so we can mark that he's been here. And thank you, Peach, for taking us to the sand dunes. Deck in, we're not going. All right, we'll catch you later in a minute. Let's go. Thank you, Sand Dunes. Thank you, Sand Dunes. Did you have fun at the Sand Dunes? Deccan, let me see your tongue. Deccan? What's wrong with it? I don't know, it's a little weird. Bye, Sand Dunes. Santa Fe. Baby, you have to be more like I'm peppy. really hungry, hun. You can be peppy. No. <laughs> babe, you're, but no, but babe, you just go ahead and do it. You don't even tell me we're going to vlog and you just start doing that. Okay, we're going to vlog. But babe, we're going to vlog. Go. We made it to Santa Fe. Hey, y'all. We made it to <laughs> Santa Fe, New Mexico. We were parked outside of Blix's sister's and boyfriend's Airbnb. We're gonna stay here, probably just parked right outside for the night and then probably find like other places in the morning that we can stay throughout the week and stuff like that. We're tired. Blake drove the entire way, which is nothing new. That's the way I like it. Um, I slept. You tired? Yeah. We're hungry. So we're gonna order some food, take a shower. Yeah, shower. Hang out and we'll see you. In the, in the morning, morning in Santa Fe. Here, we're in Santa Fe, so. No, oh, and you gotta do it to get combined? Illuminati. Illuminati. That's Illuminati? I don't wanna do that. Illuminati. Combine. Dubs. Good morning from Santa Fe, New Mexico. I woke up really late this morning. Um, I'm just trying to get out of my pastries and um, get the 
Dan all kind of tidied up. Blix and their sister are already out getting some authentic New Mexican breakfast burritos with some amazing green and red chili sauce. And, um, yeah, I'm just here. I'm like, oh, we're in New Mexico now. It's so weird to, like, wake up and be, like, in a different scene every, not every day, but, like, regularly. You know what I mean? I mean, every day, too, depending on how we're traveling. But, um, the boys went, over to, went on a morning walk, thanks to Blix. And I'm going to get dressed. So, I will see you after I get dressed. All right, we are all dressed up. And we are actually, gosh... I haven't even stepped outside yet and it's like noon. We're actually gonna go on a little hike somewhere. It's like a 15 minute drive away from here. We're gonna meet up with Maggie and Steven. And, oh gosh. Maggie and Steven and, yeah, go on a little walk, hike, experience. Bless you! Bless you! Um, experience the natural lands in New Mexico and then we finish that up and we're gonna find, try to find a spot to park and stay put for the week because we thought we could park outside of Lix's sister's Airbnb but there's some parking issues there so we're gonna find somewhere else so we'll see you on the hike happy Martin Luther King Day by the way uh, we kind of had a really slow start here in Santa Fe anywho we're going on a hike like I already mentioned I think and uh, love Santa Fe I've been here before so just being here just feels not like home but it feels familiar and it feels really oh god honey why did you oh, go sorry. it's a beautiful place I know Santa Fe like the buildings here just New Mexico in general this adobe style clay homes and architecture is just so like so I would always tell Blix like oh, sorry <laughs> so I would always tell Blix like I want to live in a place or spend a lot of time in a place where the building and has character when the land is alive and I don't think they really understood that until now yeah it definitely is character <laughs> We just arrived to this hiking spot. Um, it's always just a little stressful with the boys, just getting it out and just get excited. And I guess it's supposed to rain in an hour, so there's that, but it's pretty beautiful. That's the most impressive part. <laughs> I really felt like my eyelash was gonna fall off though. The only one that would put a full face of makeup on. I just didn't really realize we're gonna, I thought we were gonna like a walk. <laughs> hey y'all, ooh. I'll never get used to that really. We just got done with our hike here. It was really lovely. Just finished. Oh, getting a little rubby here. How nice. Oh, look at my old car. car. I miss that, I car. that car. That was such a good car. I used to have a little um, dark purple Honda Fit with some leather seats yes. and a sunroof. And I loved it. And I totaled it. The hike was great. It was a little steeper than I had anticipated to be, but it was still nice to challenge my body a little bit. I'm always just a little weary of working out in general because <laughs> I have like exercise induced asthma, and like I just kind of freak out sometimes when I have to like be, to like physically exert myself really intensely. And, but it wasn't that intense. It was nice. And it was worth the view. We're heading to REI so I can return these old boots that I bought that I just don't like. And I'm gonna buy some other boots. And we're gonna we need to go explore some places to stay for the week before it gets dark. So we have a place posted up. So I'm doing a little research on that, looking at some BLM land where we'll have good reception. Um, and it'll be like a good place just post up. That'll be fun, you know. 
um, for the boys and I just to sprawl outside. Well, Lex is hard at work and they can sprawl outside too during their yeah. breaks that I force them to take. But yeah, that's kind of it for today, I think. Uh, it's kind of, there's some light snow. I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow, which is not great for us because we were seeking warm or at least not snow, but it's not too bad actually. It kind of feels like the Bay Area in a weird way. Um, but yeah, Santa Fe is... So, I love it here. Yeah, it's so nice to be here actually and just be in the space. It's just a really nice grounding energy out here and I love how brown everything is. Like, Hey y'all, we made it to our spot for the night. Unfortunately, it is too dark um, to show you, but I will show you in the morning what everything looks like. We came here a couple hours ago in the daylight. We just found it on on the spot on iOverlander, it's BLM land, so it's actually our first time staying on BLM land. For those of you who do not know what BLM stands for, it stands for Bureau of Land Management, right? Bureau of Land Management. Bureau, yeah. So um, basically it's public land that anyone can camp on um, up to 14 consecutive days. Uh, we probably won't be here 14 consecutive days, but we might be here often depending on our experience. We took the dogs out um, a little walk before calling it a night in the van, and we already noticed like a lot of like trash and toilet paper, which is something, and watching other YouTube videos and hearing other van life um, folks um, who stay on a lot of like, you know, I Overlander spots, um, one of the number one complaints is that people leave a lot of trash here so we sure as hell won't be doing that and if anything we'll hope to maybe do a little cleanup around our area but I'll show you all in the morning I'm just gonna make some dinner um the boys are already kind of really tired Blix is looking at like this rap they're down the rabbit hole of a YouTube series of like old high school choir videos shout out Megan McGowan shout out Megan McGowan and that's all folks Hi everyone, good morning. Uh, our first night here at the BLM, BLM site um, was nice, objectively, in terms of it was quiet, you know, flat, uh, uh, felt safe, you know, um, but we're, we're preparing for this kind of morning, which is no sun and uh, light snow, which is both true, and our battery is at 100. I am a so confused. Can you, can you look, like switch, um, go like go down? I, I am a, like literally like a second. You just were at 70. Did you have the car on? No. So, actually so weird. Like, we were literally just at 79% and all of a sudden it's at 100. I wish, we need to get that app situated, figured mm -hmm. out. We have an app that's connected to our was connected to our phone, but Plex disconnected it. It was connected to their old. It was connected to their old phone, and it wouldn't somehow log in with our new phones. So it told us to delete it, and we did, and it's not logging to anything anymore. So that it's more of a comprehensive way to see what kind of voltage we're getting, amp hour we're getting, all that kind of stuff. It's like really weird. We were literally just freaking out about how low our battery was getting at 79%, which is like not that low, but low if we have a full working day here. This is where we can read how much battery we're at. Literally, hold on, it says 100% here. It literally says 79% right before I started vlogging. And this here, I mean, I tried this the other day, but it just didn't work. Tried what? The Bluetooth. I know, but did you try the troubleshooting? All of it, yeah. You tried this. What? You went through this? Yeah. And none of it worked. I mean, we can try it again. Declan, as always, is over it. And Baby is patrolling slash over it. Aren't you, honey bun? Hmm. But this is where we're at. I don't know if y'all can really see. Here we go. Just this kind of flat ground. Oh, here. Windows are very dirty, so apologies. I'm gonna get a car wash. I'll show y'all more outside once I get dressed and we figure out what we're gonna do for the day.
in New Mexico was pretty seamless. We got to really settle into our camp spot, and we even got to watch the inauguration live from the van. Blix continued to work hard at work and find a steady rhythm working from the van, but also take some much needed breaks. We stocked up on some groceries, made yummy food with said groceries, did normal things like washing the dishes, and Deccan got to do a lot of sunbathing, and we got to enjoy some mornings with Blix's sister Maggie. Next week, we continue our adventures in New Mexico as we visit precious ruins of native pueblos, find some hot springs to enjoy, and continue to take in this amazing land. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all next week.